Good afternoon, my Blanco users. This is Audra with my Blanco. And today I'm going to talk about order statuses and best practices for that. So um, as you guys know, we've added um, this workflow manager to help us manage and keep track of orders. So I wanted to go through the, the flow here. Um, when you close on a job and don't collect any deposit or and or if your deposit amount is less than your required deposit, the status of that order will say awaiting deposit. Once you get um, over equal or over your required deposit amount, the status changes to deposit received. There is some automatic um, status changes within um, the software. So I'm gonna open up this guy here, awaiting deposit. Once again, once if I did get over my required deposit amount, my, not my status of that order would be deposit received and that would happen automatically. And this is a good way to kind of flag that a job is ready to, to be ordered. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna swing back out to orders. I don't know if anybody realized, but you can actually search on status. So I really like this feature. You can go deposit received and you can bring up all of the orders, you know, all of the orders ready to be ordered, right? Anything that says deposit received will be ready to go. Once you go um, open up the order, generate your POs, and you can do this manually. Um, the, the actually managing an order at a PO level is optional. Let's say, you know, you place the order and you want to manually change the status to ordered. You can, you can totally do that. If you use the POs, it will automatically change the status to ordered. And so when you go back to your order tab, again, you, you can see now that my, my status is ordered and you can also again search on on that status and it'll bring up all of your ordered jobs okay so you place the order with the manufacturer you have other options other status options in here too you can change the status to um, sent to manufacturer in processing uh, really anything that you would be helpful for you and keeping tabs on the status of the order um, when the product starts coming in and you check the boxes in, you can again also change that order status to re um, ready to install. And at that point, once you change it to ready for install, again, you can come up here, search up all the jobs ready for install, and then you can, um, you know, get on get on the phone or start texting your customers and getting them on the calendar. So uh, when you schedule the installation by going to the calendar and using appointment type install. I'll just show that uh, right here. Appointment type installation. This will automatically change the order status to installation schedule. So if I go to orders here, you'll see um, some status uh, installation scheduled. So that will automatically change. And then um, you can see all the jobs that have been scheduled. Um, this, got, this question came up the other day. When um, the installer is done and the job is paid in full, we recommend changing the status of the order to installed, okay? You might instinctively wanna use complete um, but complete actually will remove the order from the order tab. So if you have a, um, a, a accountant or somebody else helping with the books and they still need access to this order, then um, go ahead and put installed, okay? And that will help them too. They can do a search on installed and they'll know which ones are ready for you know, QuickBooks or something like that. And when you're really done with that job, you can mark that um, status complete and it will not show up in this list anymore. But good news is you can always come to your contact tab, search up your customer and find your completed jobs there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Marion here and uh, 
as soon as this loads, I'll scroll to the bottom and you'll see under orders, even jobs that uh, were scheduled as complete or orders that were complete. So if you ever, if you ever don't see an order in the order tab, uh, go to contact, search up your contact, and then uh, more than likely it's down here. All right. Um, similarly, if you need to actually, you know, completely remove that order, you can mark that status canceled and it will completely, um, completely be removed. All right, guys, that's how um, you, that's how best to use the order status. Thanks so much.